Hello and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I am going to walk you through how I am creating my Christmas cards. So let's get right on to it. It's going to be a little bit of a longer video. Um, I created my, my Christmas cards using digital aspects. So I'm using the paper and I'm putting them together with in pieces but I found the pattern paper I'm using um, from a scrapbook kit that I had. I created the tag that I'm using in Photoshop. I um, found the music paper that I'm using. That's pattern paper too. I also found that online. Um, and then I created the inside of it. So we're going to just go ahead and put it together. And I'm going to show you how I do that. So what I have done is I have prepped and printed um, all of the stuff that I needed. So the first thing we're going to do is let's prep let's prepare our tag so this is the tag that I made um, and I printed a whole bunch of them and it just says Merry Christmas and has a little holly on it and then I'm gonna cut it out and turn it into a tag Okay. These tags are two by about one and a half. I'm going to cut two of them because we're going to make two cards. I did cut all four of them out, but we're just going to use two of them for today or for right now because we're just going to make two cards. Okay, so I've got those two. The next thing we're going to do is I have a template that I cut and I use that so that I can get the sizing, you know, where I, where I, how I chomp the corners, I use the template to, to make it look right. So I'm going to go ahead and put these with my template and then I'm going to go ahead and trim them. Just like that and that. Okay, I'm going to put my template away. Then I got these two pieces here and I'm going to take a piece of gold paper and then... I'm going to I'm going to adhere these down with a very slight gold border. Also, I did well, that's not going to work. Let's see if doing it this way will work. I'm just using a piece of scrap gold paper so I don't have to cut another one. There we go. That will work. I did, um, I forgot what I was saying, so never mind. Okay. Then we're just going to trim this out. The very, very thin gold border. There we go. Then we're just going to take our scissors and try to match up the angle there. There we 
There we go. Okay. The next part we're going to do is we've got that ready to go. Let's get together our background. So our background is going to be a piece of this. Okay. So this is Christmas carols. I just searched for Christmas carol printables and found this. I'm going to first cut this down to the correct size because when I trim it, I want to trim it equally. So I'm trimming it to five and a half by four and a quarter. And now I'm going to trim it down to four. But in order to do that, I'm going to just trim an eighth of an inch off all of the sides. So my finished piece will be five and a quarter by four. There we go. Same thing for this one here. There we go. So we have two of those ready to go. The next step is to cut a piece of gold paper that's going to be our background to this. And I'm going to cut this. That was five. So this is going to be five and one eighth. Sorry about that. No, wait, that was five and a quarter. So this is going to be five and three eighths. And then it was four. So it's going to be four and one eighth. And four and one eighth. There we go. And then just so that you can save a little bit of paper if you want to. You can cut out a square on the inside here because this is just going to be a background and then you can use that square to mat your tags. So I'm just going to I'm just going to cut out a little bit. And then that way I can use that to cut my tags or to map my tags later on because I'm going to be doing a lot of these. I don't want to have to waste gold paper. Okay, so we're going to set those two aside and then we're going to take our music frame or music paper and we're gonna put adhesive around the edges of those and then we're going to adhere it to the gold paper and there we have a nice little gold border again I'm gonna do the same thing to the other one And then if we wanted to, this would be where we would adhere this piece to our background. So I've got a piece of white one. That looks good.
That's good. This one here seems to be just a tad bigger than what I wanted. So I'm just going to trim a little bit off the sides. Just like that. And maybe a little off the top too. There we go. Now I have enough of the black showing. Okay. So we've got those done. That's the base of our cards. Now we are going to work on the pattern paper part. We're going to take this piece here and we're going to trim it down. Okay, I'm going to trim this to one and a half. And I'm going to do that twice. The only thing I'm doing is I'm making sure that my finished piece, this piece here, is bigger than um, my card. Because this is how it's going to go. Okay? So I can trim the rest off my card. I just wanted to start with a piece that was a little bit bigger. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our seam, I've got seam binding here, and I'm going to tie it in a knot. If I can hold on to it. You want to make sure that you have enough to create a bow when you're done. We're going to start off with a knot, but we're going to finish with a bow. Okay. So we've got a knot in there now. Bring it a little bit towards the top. Then we're going to take our tags. I'm just going to do them both at the same time. And we're going to punch our hole. And I'm going to take some baker's twine. This is um, white and gold baker's twine. I'm going to put it through my tag and then I'm going to take that baker's twine and I'm going to put it up through the seam binding and then this guy is going to get knotted around the seam binding. Make sure that you don't knot it tight. You want to make sure that you've got room. This is got room to play around so you don't want that part tight. You want the knot itself to be tight but you don't want the string to be tight on the tag. Hope that makes sense. Okay, once you have that done, then you make sure, see it, I have a little bit of, see how I have a little play in my tag? Then we're gonna take this part and we're gonna tie a bow. And bows are not easy, that is for sure. But if you just have patience and play with it a little bit, you got it. You just got to kind of work it a little bit. I'm 
maneuver the tails to be where you want them to be. And then I spend a lot of time tightening and loosening. Bring the bows together. Also, while I'm doing this, I do keep in mind that um, the person who receives this card, they aren't going to keep it forever. They're going to toss it at the end of the season. So while I do do my best work, I do also keep in mind that I don't need to make it look 100% perfect. Also keeping in mind that it is a handmade card. And then I'm just going to put some pop dots on the back side of my tag. And then that's that. Oops, I do have to trim these. We're just going to... Trim that up a bit, okay? And then here, I'm gonna see if I can do this. I had one not quite work out for me, and so I had to take it off, but I don't wanna ruin, or I don't wanna waste the tag and the bow. So I'm just gonna see if I can Put it around this one. And it would appear that I can. Okay. So there we go. Now we've got these two ready to go. The next thing we're going to do is adhere them to our tags. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go down the tag a little bit and then I'm going to stick this on so that it's even. Then I'm going to turn it over and trim it out. I like to do it that way rather than trimming it to the exact size first because if I do that, then I don't know, sometimes they're off by a hair and then you would have the card show through. Okay, I took the, bind, the backing off of this tag and then I'm just going to stick it on there so that it sticks out just a little bit like that. And that is our finished card and I am really happy with it. I really like the way that it turned out. But let's see how it looks on black. So then I can decide which one I like better. Okay. There we go. Then I'm going to take this one, peel these off, and then put this guy kind of where I want it. And there we go. I like that. I don't know which one I like better, though. I think I might like it better on black. But I'm not sure. 
Maybe I'll do some of them on black and some of them on white. Now I have one more step to do and then we are all finished with our card. So I printed out my inside greeting. It says, we wish you joy, happiness, and love this Christmas and in the new year. And then it says, love from our family to yours. And then I put that same holly that I put on the tag, I put it on the inside to kind of tie them together. So all I'm gonna do here is trim this out to five and a quarter. By four, but I'm trimming it to four and a quarter because I want to trim it evenly. There we go. And then I'm going to take a little off that side and a little off that side. It didn't match up evenly. I don't like that one. I'm going to cut another one. to do is put a little adhesive on the back of this and center it inside our card. And then me and my family just sign it and it's done. I think I like it better on the black, at least for the inside part, because the two whites that I use don't match. So you can see this one doesn't match up. Oops. You want to make sure you put it on there right, I guess. That part is kind of important. But there we have it. There is our Christmas cards. I really like how they turned out. I hope that my family likes them as much as I do. And then the best part about this is that we took our family Christmas pictures. We were all wearing buffalo check, buffalo check plaid too. Buffalo, whatever this is. Buffalo plaid, buffalo check, whatever. We were all wearing those shirts. So when I put those pictures on the inside, it's going to look really cool. All right. I hope you all have a fantastic day and I will see you again soon for the next video. Bye-bye now.